Could there be a deeper meaning to aging than what meets the eye? Could the physical transformation of growing old bear a spiritual significance that transcends our earthly understanding? In the grand tapestry of existence, each one of us is woven with a divine purpose. We are created, carried, sustained, and rescued by an unseen hand. As we bear the image of the earthly man, we are also destined to bear the image of the heavenly man. Aging is not a decline, but a ripening, a bearing of fruit even in the twilight of life. Amid the silver strands and the lines of wisdom etched on our faces, we carry a promise of freshness and vibrancy. The story of Saul and Samuel paints an intriguing picture. When Saul sees an old man in a robe, he recognizes Samuel. It's an affirmation that age and wisdom are revered and that reverence is a core value in our interactions. Zechariah, a man advanced in years, questions an angel about his wife's pregnancy. His question, while rooted in natural doubt, shows that even in old age, we continue to grapple with faith and understanding, proving that the human spirit forever remains a curious explorer. We learn that our past, our old self, often riddled with deceitful desires, must be put off. As we age, we are not just growing older, but we're also given a chance to grow out of our old selves, to shed the skin of past mistakes, and to embrace a new self that is a slave to righteousness rather than sin. It is said that it's good for a man to bear the yoke while he is young. This isn't just a testament to physical strength, but an allegory of how our youthful years are meant to build resilience and character. It's during this time that we bear the fruits that will later define our lives. And then comes a time when the almond tree blossoms, the grasshopper drags itself along, and earthly desires no longer stir us. It's a poetic expression of old age, a phase when we prepare for our eternal home. Our old self is crucified, the body ruled by sin is done away with, and we are no longer slaves to sin. This is the promise of a second life, a spiritual rebirth, a salvation brought by Christ. Paul, an old man and a prisoner of Christ Jesus, appeals to us on the basis of love. His story is a testament that even in old age, we can serve a divine purpose. His journey reminds us that we bear our sins in our bodies so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. So as we age, as we bear the marks of time on our bodies, let us remember that we are not just growing old. We are evolving, transforming, bearing the image of the heavenly man and preparing for an eternal home. Therein lies the profound spiritual significance of growing old.